Hi, so my name is Amber Clifford and I'm going to be doing my virtual tour today on um, the Deck Milk Scotia, which is where I have recently moved to. I don't really know many cool secret spots yet, but I'm hoping to. Um, so today I'm going to brush on three topics um, or just little historical things about the deck. So or locations. So that's going to be Kinston Island, which is an island that you can view from the town of Bedeck across the Bedore Lake, um, which I really enjoy. I thought the history of it was pretty interesting. As soon as I moved here, I was interested in it. Um, also brushing on Alexander Graham Bell, of course, because <laughs> that's a pretty notable thing to have happened in Nova Scotia. And finally, I'm going to be um, showing the Inverie, where I'm supposed to be doing my work term this summer, but that's probably not going to happen. Either way, the history behind it is interesting, and especially because um, the main building burned down in, 20, in the summer of 2018. So I'm going to be driving around in my car and um, showing Kinston Island. Hopefully, I'll be able to get to the uh, Alexander Graham Bell um, estate, but I'm not entirely sure. And then finally I'll just drive around the estate of the Inverie because it's open. Um, and maybe just show anything else I find cool along the way. This is the Inverie Resort, their property. Um, in 2018, the original building, um, the main building burnt down and that's um, it under construction right there. Um, it has a very long history. Um, I think it was the first um, hotel that was opened up in the deck, which is really cool. It's really beautiful. Um, I don't want those people to think I'm recording them. That's a chapel where people get married. Um, that's like hotels over there. Um, and that's the convention center or conference center. Uh, and I think that this property is very beautiful. And uh, I wish that I was still working. Um, so this is Kidston Island. This is the beginning of it. And um, I'm just going to show you it in its entirety and then give some history. Um, so it ends where that lighthouse over there ends. And basically, um, it was originally inhabited in 1812 by um, uh, Lieutenant James Diffus who um, was the brother-in-law of Samuel Kennard, who um, started the Kennard uh, boat line. And um, while he lived on, while um, Lieutenant James Duffus lived on this island, he um, ran a, a mercantile shipping company. And, um, sorry, there's a lot of people driving past. Um, but while he was on this island, he ran a mercantile shipping company until 1833 when he died. And then, um, James, or sorry, William Kidston was sent over to, um, uh, a couple years later to, um, that was a motorcycle, sorry, um, to basically, uh, check his estate and all that but while he was here he fell in love with uh, Doofus's um, a widow and so he stayed in Bedeck he married her and he continued to run um, Doofus's uh, boating company and this island was actually owned by that company up until about 2015 where it was bought back by the town of Bedeck. I'm not sure for how much I can find any information on that um, but in uh, 1875 Kidston erected a lighthouse that sat right there and then in 1912 another lighthouse was erected and the two stood side by side for some time until um, one of them just weathered with age and no longer exists unfortunately but it's still very pretty and um, this island has to be my favorite part of the deck so far. And so as soon as I moved here, I, I Googled it. <laughs> and so, sorry yeah. about the wind, 
but this is a statue erected of Alexander Graham Bell and his wife Mabel and um, you can see Kidston Island from here and it was erected in memory of the couple because they were so memorable in the town of Bedeck. Driving up to see the Alexander Graham Bell Museum which is actually his estate I'm not entirely sure how open it is at the moment, as there is an epidemic going on. Um, but uh, you can still drive around the property. And um, recently, while searching up Alexander Graham Bell, because I now live in Bedeck and it's interesting, I found out that Bell Alliance, the phone company, the Bell part is actually named after Alexander Graham Bell which is even more cool um, that one of the biggest uh, telecom companies in Canada um, is named after Alexander Graham Bell and I live in the same place as so him. Very cool. This is the Alexander Graham Bell Museum. I can't actually go in there right now, but I can walk around it. There's no flaw against that. Um, and you can see Kidston Island again, which is an even better view. And I think we can peek in here. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but you can see the window over there. Um, too bad, I can't go in. Um, but yeah. So it was on the Bedore Lake that Alexander Graham Bell actually continued some of his um, lesser known um, inventions. Um, so these inventions, uh, well, maybe not specifically inventions, but developments include sheep breeding, tetrahedral construction, and hydrofoils, which is really cool that he continued to invent in this little town. Um, but most notably, uh, he developed an early aircraft um, called the Silver Dart, which was flown in 1909 over the Bador Lake. And it was Canada's first controlled and powered flight. And so this brings me to saying that Canada's first pilot actually, well, first um, energy flight controlled pilot um, is actually from Bedeck as well. So this is the Gilbert H. Grosvenor. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. A hall. It was originally erected in 1885 in uh, order to be the post office for Bedeck. Um, as the architecture is very 1885. Um, so it was architected by um, this man named Thomas Fuller, who also co-developed um, the, the original 19th century uh, parliament for Ottawa, which is very cool that the deck um, had that sort of inf infamy. So in conclusion, um, I, I look, it's very windy out, so my hair is very messed up now. Um, but in conclusion, Bedeck has a very rich history, and regardless of if I work at the Embury or not, I'm very excited to continue to learn um, this summer just about how cool Bedeck is, because so far there has been many surprises um, to me, like um, uh, the Gilbert H. Uh, Gospiner Hall, um, and just how much uh, Alexander Graham Bell and his wife Mabel really impacted the community. Um, and so that's all for me.